From tram lines to lines, women at least are more concerned about. The lines on their faces. And there's little they don't know about matters of that nature at this beauty salon in Mayfair, London, where the preparation of cosmetics is a chemical art that would intrigue any scientist. In the mixing of face powder, for example, many factors have to be taken into consideration before the right formula is ascertained. A source of amazement to anyone but the beautician is the number of surprisingly vivid colours that go into the preparation. And yet, after a thorough and expert blending, that kaleidoscope of colour produces one rather subdued shade. It's certainly an art today, but funnily enough, at the end of the 17th century, an act was passed whereby a man was entitled to divorce his wife if she wore cosmetics. The act also applied to false teeth, false hair and stays, because they were akin to witchcraft. In practically every sphere, progress has altered things almost beyond recognition. But with something rather personal, like cosmetics, little has changed in thousands. However, something really new is this process for pressing blended powder into a compact, a machine that's capable of exerting a pressure of two tons. Sorry we can't give you the formula for this powder, it's strictly top secret. In fact, all beauty salons put a sea clamp on this kind of information, but then, needless to say, women, shrewd as they are, prefer it that way. Oh. 